Enough of me continuing to build on the breakwater here in Minecraft Edgy again. So I'm going to go back to the game. I'm down the western side of the main arm at the moment, and I thought I would just show you how I'm generating part of the slope section that goes out towards the sea. In real life, um, well, when I planned it, I was hoping that it would about half of this first slope section would be underwater. But actually, where I've started building the breakwater main platform, three meters above the sea level, most of it is actually going to be on show. At least for now, at the end of the day, there's going to be huge amounts of concrete blocks built up onto the slope as well, just like in real life. So it's going to look a lot different to when I first complete this bit. So at the moment, over here, just got it going three or four meters down, and then six across. And what I'm going to do is fill up an entire area in one go that stretches all the way back down to the other end of the breakwater. Down the other end of the breakwater, I've kind of I've done this, but I've filled it out a bit more so that it stretches out as far as the slope will do when it's finished. But I just thought I'd demonstrate this process of filling as I, I tried to in a, in a previous video, but I had the speed set up really high and it was all a bit shaky and odd to see. So I press M to go into the teaching mode and I can click on this fill clear tool. There's a warning that says it is possible to destroy large areas or even crash the server by filling with too many blocks in one go. My PC's fairly good though, so I shouldn't crash the server. He says now, fingers crossed. So just to give you a little demonstration of what it does, what I'm going to do is put one here, like so. And normally I'd fly all the way to the other end of the breakwater and put this second one where I want it and then the gap in the middle would generate all the blocks. But just to give you an example, of what it does if I put one here, let's get a bit closer, put one here, boom, and they all generate just like that. And this is extremely time saving because if I didn't have that on, I would literally have to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, all the way down to the other end. And that would just take so long. So I'm not going to do it. Luckily for me. Oop. Okay. So now I will do it from here all the way to the other end. So go back to the fill clear tool mode and we'll do it again. So one here. And again, because I'm filming, it's going to look a bit weird when I fly all the way down to the other end because it's just not generating all the pictures as fast as it normally does as I film. So just bear that in mind as we go down. Again, this is the main arm of the breakwater. I'm flying 916 meters, approximately, all the way down to the other side. And in real, real mode, it won't just stop here. You know, it will, like it is now, generating further and further and further away, so we can see more and more and more and more and more. When I'm not filming. It's always like this, you know, it doesn't take a couple of seconds to generate. Okay, so still flying, still flying, still flying. Get the idea that this is a very big structure, which is good. Oh, here we go. So we're down the other end now. And I want to put. Here, I believe. Oh goodness, I can't remember where I put the first block. I think it was up, wasn't it? So I'll put it here. 
filling area with blocks. Oh, there we go. It froze on me a little bit there. So now we've got that huge area all filled so I didn't have to do it one by one. Which is so time saving. Unbelievable. Slightly not how I want it because I want to have these slabs to create a little bit of a uh, sort of more gradual slope. So these slabs are like half blocks basically. Let me just take that off again. Uh, where are you? So here, cobblestone slabs. I realise that the actual brick water doesn't consist of cobble slope, cobblestone slabs, but I think it. Unfortunately, I you don't have the tool for using sort of moss stone slabs like this. So the slabs are like half a block, and you don't have the slabs in the moss stone effect. So it's going to be a a bit of cobblestone and moss stone intermixing all the way down. Hopefully it won't look too tacky. If it does, I'll change it. But for now, this is the way we're going. So now I'm going to generate these cobblestone slabs all the way down. And then I'll do the moss stone. And then the slabs all the way down. And then the moss stone. And then the slabs. And then the moss stone. And then finishing off with moss stone just under the water. I've extended it slightly so it's a little bit further than it would be in real life but again I just wanted some of it to reach the water but I didn't want to I didn't want the slope to be too extreme I wanted it to be really gradual like it is in real life and that's the end of this video for now I hope you've enjoyed thank you very much